is up guys, JP here. You just saw me score 192 and a half for a set of four. I actually did that for two sets of four. This is my update. Four weeks out from the IPF Classic World, so you're watching training, all the training that took place in the week, ending May 27th. So, um, started off with some squats the Friday before, and um, uh, some falls as you saw at 195 and some back offsets. This was a really good training week. As you'll know if you've been following me, whether on Instagram or on um, YouTube, I've had a recurring kind of back issue, um, but I've been able to deadlift pain-free this week. So you saw there 180 sumo for a single. There was no pain. You saw the hesitation though. I went to bend down, kind of just got anxious and then just came back up and had another go. So that was fine. And I deadlifted pain-free again a couple of days later, which you're going to see in a second. Uh, here you see some comp singles. This is supposed to be singles at 9 RPE. Wasn't feeling great that day. Um, the RPE was probably a bit low. That was probably like more like a 7 or an 8. But didn't want to push it that day as I wasn't feeling great. Um, so I let it bear. This is the next day. So this is some touch and go doubles at the same weight, 110 or 242. Um, bench has been feeling awesome. Hit a bench PB a couple of weeks ago, as you would have seen. 122 and a half kilo, 270 pounds. And more recently, not in this update, you'll get that in the next one. Hit up um, another PB again for a single. So feeling really confident with my bench. Techniques feeling better than ever. I'm about to start a new program this week. Um, yeah, four weeks out, about to start a new program to kind of peek me into the world. So hopefully, once I uh, get through that four week block, there's a little bit more in the tank ready for the platform. Now this weekend, uh, the weekend of the 20. First, I'd say, of May, weekend 21st, 22nd, sorry. Um, our gym, Obsidian Strength, as you can see there, hosted a powerlifting event, powerlifting competition. So that whole day I was coaching and uh, refereeing, helped out some of the, some provisional referees who were learning the ropes. So it was a really fatiguing day. So that bench that you saw, the 110 doubles and the high bar squats, that was at the end of the day. That was like a two and a half hour session. I was really, really tired. Things didn't go great, but got through some work, which is really, really positive. Um, now here you see me doing some pin squats. Now I do, I was doing box squats on the Monday and that's been replaced with pin squats. Um, and also the pause squats I was doing on Wednesday have now been replaced with tempo squats. So a little bit of variation there. This is the deadlift pain-free that I was talking about. Really happy with this. So I did, worked up, did 170 for a double, one sumo, one conventional. I um, just got an email and one double at 200, one conventional, one sumo as well. So really happy that I've been going pain-free there. Hitting bench PBs, hitting squat volume PBs. So really, I mean, someone asked me the other day how my training's going, and the answer is, I don't know. It's going really well, but it's so volatile at the moment, it's not consistent, and it could easily just flip the other way and go, you know, backwards. So, um, really all I can hope for is to just get through some training now and do the best I can on the platform in four weeks time, which I'm really excited for. Here is some bench triples. Um, this is 112 for a triple. The next clip's 115 for a triple. I finished with 117 and a half kilos for a touch and go triple, which is a PB triple. I didn't record that 117 triple as I forgot to press record on my camera, but nevertheless it happened. I promise it happened. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so like I said, bench going really well, hitting single PBs, triple PBs, four rep PBs, all my dumbbell work, I'm feeling super strong on dumbbells. So that's promising, but again, my bench has been really inconsistent recently. As you saw, that other day I wasn't feeling great, just at 110 for singles, so I don't know. It's a little bit all over the place. Um, here you see me hitting up some high bar squats. Now once a week I've been high bar squatting um, and only the last two weeks I've been putting on my knee sleeves and belt for that session. It was all, I guess, raw, I guess you could say. So no, beltless and sleeveless is probably the better term. But recently I've put on some belt and sleeves. Added specificity coming into world, but that's what we want. Um, so that's been feeling good. I'm so much weaker high bar, it's ridiculous. That was 174, a 3x3 I think. The next day, this is the tempo work that I was talking about. Man, I was really sore after this tempo work. This is the first bit of tempo squats I've done in a long time. Wasn't heavy at all, but it was a good change in st stimulus. Really happy with that. I've also hit up some wrapped squats, which you're gonna see in a second. 
Um, you go 200 for three. This moved okay. So I leave for Worlds in two weeks, two and a little bit weeks. I leave on June the 15th. I fly up to Sydney, stay in Sydney for a week with my sponsors, City Strength, John Tran and Greta, who live in Sydney, are hosting me for one night before I fly out to the US on the Thursday. So I'll be hitting up a session at Lift Performance on Thursday the 16th in the morning. So in the unlikely event that anybody from Lift is listening to this, hit me up because I'll be training on that day. Would love to uh, come out and train with you. Um, as I've explained in the previous video, flying out really early, leaving here on the 16th, getting to the US on the 16th because of the time difference, which is I think nine days before I lift. Oh no, eight days before I lift. So a lot earlier than usual, so I'm gonna need to train there as well. Luckily I've got some contacts in Texas, so I'll be able to uh, hit up a training session or two there that is at a powerlifting specific venue, hopefully with some calibrated plates um, and some good barbells as well. Um, so that's it for me really. Uh, training's been going good as I said, but a little bit inconsistent if nothing else. Back's feeling a lot better in summary, and got a big squat session this Friday, so keep an eye out for that on Instagram. So that's the quickest way to get my updates. On Instagram, I'm at strong, at strong with a five, as you probably already realize. Um, you'll see the updates there a lot quicker, but for now, this will have to do. Any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, hit me up with an email at jkalki at live.com. I'll speak to you next time. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you. Bye. Death by front. Joey, come back! How the fuck did you get a bicycle? Holy crap. I'm running like a bicycle person. Oh my god.